What's up guys? Well, I have an interesting experiment to do. I just bought a new house and I made sure it had a 220 volt outlet input in the garage in a really cool location that I'll show you in a minute. But I just bought a $35 NEMA 1450 adapter for the garage. I thought long and hard about buying the $500 Tesla wall charger. But after doing some research, it's way cheaper to buy this adapter. So I think that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go plug it in and find out exactly how many miles I get per hour. I'll let you know. Another moment we're documenting here. We have a high-speed charger for the first time in our electric vehicle lives. Curious to see how much we're gonna get per hour. We've been getting, what, four miles an hour, four to six at home until this very moment. Wow, look at the time remaining. We're gonna cruise. We're only at 88 miles in three hours, 10, 11, 12. Go, go. Oh, 16. That's not that good. Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay. Holy smokes. 32 miles an hour. Wow, that was 35 bucks for that adapter. Nice. Wow, we're living nice, aren't we? So what did I learn from this little experiment? I think something I've continually learned throughout owning a Tesla, especially a standard range plus, is that it's not as expensive as it sounds. So there, there's friends and family members who kind of give you that wide-eyed look when you're driving a Tesla. And I, I try and tell them it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic car, it's an awesome car, but it's pretty affordable. Now, is it as affordable as, as a used car that you get in the 15,000 range, of course not. But for a luxury car, I think it's very affordable. And what this charging experiment showed me is that you can get fast charging at home for an affordable price. Now, if you have to pay an electrician to come and wire your garage with 220 volt charging, that could make it a little more expensive. But Tesla with this adapter gives you, for 35 bucks, I've got 32 miles an hour in my garage, only a couple hours of charging and I'm ready to go. That's game changing. And is 500 bucks the end of the world to, to have that nice wall mounted fast charger from Tesla? No, but an alternative for $465 cheaper, it's a slam dunk. Now it does mean that you have to take the power cord out of your trunk and leave it in your garage. But for someone like me, I don't road trip all that often and the need to have that in my car and to plug it in in a moment's notice, it's never happened. It's just not a reality. And if I'm gonna go on a road trip, I'll just unplug it from my wall and put it in my trunk. So the utility is amazing. The cost is amazing. It's a, it's a no brainer in my opinion. And as I've owned this car for over a year now, I'm continually learning just how easy it is to make the switch to driving an electric car day to day. I mean, I still charge at work and I still charge in public chargers. I don't exclusively charge here at home, but knowing that I have that option, that if I need to charge, that I have fast charging, it's a slam dunk. And so if, if you're on the fence and, and you're like, oh, charging expensive, getting set up for charging expensive, it's really not, I'm coming to learn that. I mean, I just moved out of a townhouse that had no 220. I was getting four miles an hour. Now I'm in a single family home. Uh, I made sure I had a 220 volt in a sweet location. Do I use it all the time? No, but it is, it is awesome and it was not, I mean, buying a new house is obviously uh, more expensive than running electrical into an existing garage, but so many homes these days are already equipped with 220 and now with Tesla, those adapters, you can get fast charging compatibility with a 220 volt uh, NEMA 1450, 220 volt outlet for 35 bucks. It's pretty awesome. I'm a big fan. 
If you have any questions, let me know. But uh, this experiment was great. I wasn't sure I was going to work out, but it worked flawlessly. I added the $35 hook for my for my cord. So for 70 bucks, I've got a electric cable holder and the adapter for fast charging. Fantastic. Highly recommend this car. And, and thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.